All right, I think we got our spot right there as you're looking at one of Weiner's dilated pours. We don't always take the time to do these because they're just nothing more than blackheads, but sometimes it's fun to do them, and if they're bothering the patient, we'll go ahead and take care of them, and that's what we're going to do today. Because Mr. Double Decker's wife does not like it, right? <laughs> no, she doesn't. She said, get rid of that thing. I'm tired of looking at it. Yeah, she can't stand to see it. Well, I can understand that. But just so you know, it's not dangerous. It's not a cancer or anything like that. It's nothing you need to worry about, okay? You got your spenders on here, don't you? Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. So we'll just put a little betadine in this area here just to get the area ready. Everybody wants you to start in the middle and then work your way out. It's really not necessary. But sometimes uh, we have to remember that medicine honors tradition, so things <laughs> just get passed down year over year for no apparent reason sometimes. Sometimes there is a reason. <laughs> a little alcohol here. So we have some buffered lidocaine with epinephrine, a little shot I'm gonna give you, okay? Right. You're gonna feel a stick, sting, and a burn, but it'll be a real small. Are you ready? One, two, three, a little stick, sting, and a burn. Medicine's going in. Sometimes when we put this medicine in, it just ejects the little blackhead. Mm. So we're going a little bit deeper there. Just take a deep breath. Great. Double decker, you're a natural. <laughs> yeah, see, there it is. So we put the numbing medicine in and it basically just pushed the blackhead out. We didn't even get a chance to use the tool. Oh boy. But we'll still use it. <clears throat> all right. So we'll put a little bit of a push on it here, make sure it all comes out. There it is. It's definitely all coming out. Is that hurting any? Uh, no, not really. Okay, good. So, it'll leave a little ring mark. And these really are just little teeny tiny blackheads. And it's got a little, a little sack right there. You can kind of see that. Uh -huh. And then the blackhead on the top. But if we don't grab that little sack right there, you know that's coming out right there? If we don't grab that, then uh -huh. what'll happen is, is it'll come back. Chances are this will come back, maybe. But we'll try to get all of it out of there for you so it doesn't. There we go. It's coming out now. And that's why we do the little injection because this little part here could sting just a wee bit. You feeling anything, pal? Uh, no, just a few pushing on it. Just the pressure? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what you should feel, just a little bit of pressure. Almost done, my friend. So how long have they been calling you Double Decker? <laughs> About 15 minutes. About 15 <laughs> Stay still for me now. We don't want you to get off camera. There you go. That's what I'm looking for right there. No fancy tools, no lasers, nothing like that. Just a little bit of patience and a simple tool, and we'll get that sack right out of there. And then you're good. Did you feel that? Uh, no. No? You're wiggly. <laughs> you're a little wiggly on me there. I'm trying to balance myself. Oh, I won't let you fall, don't worry. You may be a big fellow, but so am I. I won't let you roll off. And that's the last little piece of it right there.
think we got it all, my friend. What? You heard it? Mr. Decker, <laughs> I think you're, uh, Dr. Weiner would be happy that you had removed his dilated pore. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. yeah. It actually was one little piece right there still. Sometimes I can get a really good look up close here. There it is right there. Now we're completely clear. Now we'll do a little push down on here and make sure. Yeah, we're all clear now. Let me get a Band-Aid for that. Oh, good. Or I should say adhesive strip. Shouldn't use the brand name like that, right? We don't want to give anybody any free advertising. You did great. Do you want to give a shout out to anybody? You want to say howdy ho to anyone there, Mr. Double Decker? Well, my wife and sons, daughters-in-law, grandchildren. <laughs> yeah. You moved on me. I tried to adjust the camera. Oh, sorry. sorry. That's okay. I, I adjusted a little bit. So, we'll put a little dressing on this for you. Just remember, uh, the spots on your head, just let them go ahead and... And... Uh, get inflamed a little bit, they'll, they'll just fall off on their own. All you have to do is keep them covered. You don't have to put any kind of ointment or anything like that on them. Okay. This little spot on your back will heal up just fine. Double Decker, we appreciate you sharing your procedures with us uh, on YouTube. Uh, that's all right. All right, buddy, we'll see you later. Right, we're gonna start rolling now. This is our patient, Double Decker. Mr. Decker, how are you today? I'm fine. You're I'm on good. camera now, okay? Okay. And you're okay if we video your procedure for our friends on YouTube? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, you've got some bumps on your head and you got a little bump on your back we're going to work on for you today. Okay. Uh, how's your blood pressure been doing? It's good. Uh, I keep it under control yeah. with uh, um, um, Quinapril. Yeah, you, you take it. Uh, Acupril. All right, good, good. And... Uh, what other medical problems do you want to share with our fans? Oh, I have a... Uh, right there for me. Lymphedema. Lymphedema. Do you I know have what? a... Close your eyes for me. This is a seborrheic keratosis we're going to freeze. A little liquid nitrogen. That was cold, wasn't it? Yeah. It's supposed to be. If it's not... It is a little bit. If it's not cold, we worry about you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so you get these from time to time and we freeze them and they fall off, right? Uh, yes, I've had them treated before. Right, and they come back, or they come back in a different spot. But they're not dangerous. These don't have to be removed. I'm just doing this kind of as a courtesy, because you just don't like the way it looks, right? Yeah, uh, it's more of my wife's concern that yeah. she hates uh, seeing my those bumps on my forehead. <laughs> right, right. So another way to treat them is we can just scrape them off, right? We could do that. But we uh -huh. just like to freeze them and let them fall off. We think that's easier and usually it has a fine yeah, result. Yeah, it's, uh, it's done... Uh, Yep. Less risk of infection. That's right. And, and also, if we scrape them off, people tend to walk out of here with blood sort of dripping down. We, we don't like uh, that. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. yeah, people get scared if you're in the lobby and there's blood dripping off your forehead. Nah, we, yeah. we don't send people out like that. You know, I'm just messing with you. Okay, what other, uh, what other medical problems are we treating you for? Uh, well, here, um, I have had some... Uh, uh, Dietary tre uh, treatment. Uh -huh. I've gone through that. Um, mm -hmm. um, let's see. Blood pressure. Um, Your blood well, sugars. Other conditions I have done taken care of by specialists. There's a, some limited doctors, uh, I right? I have a, 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 a hyperactive urinary bladder. Mm -hmm. You have an overactive bladder. You're on some and, medication uh, for that. That's have, working, right? Uh, obstructive uh, sleep apnea. Yep, you wear a mask? Uh, yeah, CPAP. Mm -hmm. and I, and How do you feel if you don't wear that CPAP? Uh, it tends, uh, I tend to be more drowsy during the day. Mm -hmm. That's very Less dangerous. Energy. Very dangerous not to treat your sleep apnea. Okay, close yeah. your eyes. We're gonna freeze this again. We freeze all of these twice. So we go through two complete uh, freeze thaw cycles here. And then what this will do, it'll get angry and swell up a little bit and then it'll just dry and peel off right okay. okay so we got the one on the front we got a couple looks like on the back we're gonna roll over and do hang on for me so here's another seborrheic keratosis here mm -hmm. and I'm blocking the camera but you got a little one over there so we're gonna get these are you ready uh -huh. these are a little bit smaller that one you had on the front was awfully thick yeah it's a bad one yep okay and then you have a little one I wanted to get right there. Oh, oh don't, don't go anywhere. You're yeah. fine. Right there. We'll get it for you. 
There you go. When we have to let these thaw, we have to go through two complete <coughs> freeze thaw cycles to get complete desiccation of the lesion. All right. And uh, then we'll take care of your Weiner's dilated pour that you have on your back. That's what that's called, that little bump. And you've got lots of little bumps, but we're taking care of the ones that you uh, have request that we take off. All right. Okay. So, um, so you take a couple of medicines, one for the prostate, right? And you take uh, the blood pressure medicine, right? Yes, I do. Yes, that's right. Okay. So what, what I'm doing, the reason I'm feeling this is I want to make sure that these have warmed back up. That's why I keep touching if, in case anybody who's watching this wonders, uh -huh. you want to make sure that the, uh, the lesion has thawed before you freeze it again or it doesn't really work. There you go. All right, so we're gonna stop here then we're gonna get you ready to take care of that other little one on your back, okay? Okay. Stay tuned for the Meta7 video. In your own words, tell us your experience with Meta7. Oh my goodness, it, I have a lot more energy, um, a lot more focus. I can go longer throughout the day without getting tired. I love it. I, I, I recommend it to everybody that I know. Do you feel artificial? Do you feel like you've taken a stimulant of some kind when you no. take it? You feel no. natural? Very natural. No I jitter? Feel, no, jittery. very healthy, very natural. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I just reordered a 90 day supply. I have more energy and I'm in a better mood. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description. Are your nails and skin looking dry from the summer heat? Does your hair seem brittle and unhealthy? Well, maybe it's time to check out Coco Skin Plus. Coco Skin Plus is a custom blend designed specifically by Dr. Gilmore to restore your hair's shine, protect your skin from the elements, and make your nails strong and healthy. Let's hear from a few of Dr. G's fans. I started taking Coco Skin Plus about six months ago, and since then I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. It's softer, my hair is softer, and it's grown so long. I don't know if you want to zoom in. My nails have definitely gotten stronger. And finally, my hair is actually looking normal. Thanks to this, actually. Now available on Amazon with a dramatic price cut, Coco Skin Plus is only 50 cents a day. So stop waiting, order now, and experience the results you've always wanted. There's an Amazon link in the description.